Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you folks doing? Welcome here. Welcome to another edition of the CMU. I'm your host, Conman167, and today is Fastlane. The road to Conmania is officially underway. I hope you guys are excited for this one. I know I am. We're jumping just a couple minutes early live. Jumping live just a couple minutes early just because I can. So yeah, let's do this thing, everybody. It is time for your con man certified roll call. So who do we got in here today? We got ourselves Cole Mario. How you doing? Big Tiger is up in here. We got Christian Vega. Ahmed Smiles. Nice to see ya. We got Raul Kapar. I think I already said that name. Uh, Alexander Harbula. Dale Jr. 88 Eagles. Welcome to the stream. Mr. Tornicane is in here. We have Lux7. 2K Dude is in here. Amir Maxi. How you doing? We got Jacob Toon. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we got Manuel Pacchio. How you doing? We got J Money Jeff. Ross Blocks is here. We have Judy Freeman. We have Danger Zone. Zone Danger. Almost called you Danger Zone. Danger Zone. Uh, we got Jalen Jackson in here. We have Ross Blocks. We have Peyton Cash. Happy birthday, Peyton Cash. Happy 20th birthday, my man. Welcome to the big 2-0. Oh, you're in your 20s. Hopefully you have a good day. Noah Jackson's in here. Uh, Trey Lucado. Mama I'm. And so many other people like Archie Ghost. Thank you guys for being here. Welcome to the stream. All right, let's get this thing underway. Justin Beverly, how you doing? Let's get this thing underway into the CMU Fast Lane. Today's going to be a good show, guys. I'm looking forward to it. And we're going to need you to chant real loud up in here. You know what you have to do. Ready? Two, three, two, one, let's go. C M U C M U C M U C M U C M U C M U C M U C M U Let's get it. Bit of graphics right there. All right, what are we starting things off with? Oh no, not the freak. Oh, we're gonna get going underway with this number one contenders match right away. The freak is here. It's Goofball McGundy. He's gonna delete you, he says, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the CMU. We are on the road to Conmania at Fastlane. Tonight, we are going to determine a lot of number one contenders. We're going to determine Maybe some new champions, potentially, who knows? But we'll find out tonight. Fastlane is underway. Oh boy, an exalted one. Really, really trying hard here to punch his ticket back to Conmania, seriously. He lost the WWE title, and he wants it back. By the way, quick little shout-out right here to Tevin Walker, who dropped a $100 donation before we went live. Tevin Walker, thank you so much. I know you're going to watch this back at a later time. I deeply appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. But are you ready? My landlord is a grade A banana fool. So, um, officially, I'm going to tell you guys, I am looking to move out of this place ASAP. Uh, this guy has been a fool. I mean, I get it. I'm loud. But, oh my god, it's, it's getting ridiculous. So, I'm looking to move out as soon as possible. Literally, I, I'm going to be taking whatever I can to get out of here. Um, I'm done with this place. I'm so done with this place. <sighs> All right. Like, literally, I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to be out within a month. So I, I don't know what that's going to mean for Mania Week and everything. Like, I, I'm sure hoping I can get through Mania Week without there being complaints. There's new people moving in downstairs. My landlord's being an asshole, already taking their side before they even move in. Telling me that I need to quiet down, that I can't work from home, all this stuff. And I'm telling you, no, I, I absolutely can. You freaking tool. 
Come on, man. He, he literally asked me, can you work out of the garage? Can you work out of the garage? First of all, the garage isn't even attached to the house. It's in our backyard. Second of all, it's a freaking garage. Like, I... I'm I'm so this landlord. I'm sorry guys. I don't mean to take you out of this. We got ourselves the uh, fast lane right here. He literally texted me that just now, asking. I'm like I'm literally going to. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm moving out. Literally going to do whatever I can to be out of here within like the next month or two. Everything I can. I'm so upset with this right now. Not the way I want to start off the show. But anyways, guys, we've got ourselves uh, a match underway. It's Exalted One versus Joe. So so who do you guys think is going to win? So, Joe, so... Or will it be the Exalted One? You thought the Landlord was a good person, though. He, I mean, Landlords are Landlords. They, they sit there and collect money from you while they do nothing about the house. So, like, it, you can say they're a good person all you want. He's done absolutely nothing for us except for complain about the money. So, um... This, it, and here's the funny thing. Me being loud is literally what pays his mortgage on this house or lines his pockets or whatever he does with the money goes right into his pockets. This channel literally, it, it not getting it. I'm so sorry, guys. Not the way I want to start off. Okay, let's redirect our attention here to this match. Joso is in a little bit of trouble. As Exalted One is working Joso right here. And now Exalted One lifts him up and throws him deep into the ground. So take a look at Joso already in a lot of trouble. And imagine if Joso is able to pull off the victory. Imagine he's able to punch his ticket to Con Mania. That would be the best thing ever for him. But I don't think he's got a good chance here. Take a look at the Exalted One wrenching on the knees of Joso. Joso, though, with a punch to the face of the Exalted One and finds his way out of it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's General Manager CEO Khan. That's CEO Khan. Hang on. No way. No way. Oh, no. The Super Kick Khan. What? Why? What the hell, CEO Khan? I thought we were over this. I thought we were past this. You already screwed him over once, and you screwed him over again. But Joso no selling it right into the bomb, into the cover. Count of one. Kick out there by Exalted One. Now Joso lifts Exalted One back up to his feet. Hey, text-based wrestling fan, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Oh, I just realized that we don't, we didn't actually do betting. We did polls. Well, anyways. Oh no! One, two, kick out by Joso. The end of days was delivered, and I thought it was game over, but Joso still continues to fight. All right, and there's a kick right there to the middle of the back, and then down into the cover. Count of one, kick out by the Exalted One. I mean, yes, Unbroken, I'd like this place a lot more if there wasn't anybody downstairs. We liked the tenant that was there, but apparently she had issues with uh, the noise as well that she just didn't communicate to us, which... I mean, I'm not, I don't really, guys, I, I'm sorry I brought it up because I shouldn't be focusing on it. My mindset is so negative right now with it going on. I'm having a really tough time. Joso Cutter delivered. Into the Joso Lock. Joso Lock is locked in deep. No way, Joso, is he going to make him tap out? Exalted one in a lot of trouble, hanging on for dear life. Literally, oh no, but the elbows to the midsection. Back up to his feet. No way, no! End of days countered by Joso. Joso just countered the end of days. You're kidding me, Joso looking to get him back up to his feet. Joso lock, about to be locked in. Joso! 
has him up. Joe Soul Lock delivered into the submission again. Another time is Exalted One gonna tap out. He's gonna have to tap. Is Joe Soul going to Con Mania? Joe Soul, no! Exalted One gets out of it. How in the world? Oh, now Exalted One counters with a Lariat right there. Yeah, Raul, he literally asked if I could work, like, my streams out in the garage. Like, what the frig? I'm not going to do it. He literally has nothing to be able to do against it. Elbow right there to the top of the head into a big old side slam. Exalted one now. He was going for some sort of move across the legs, but Joso countered that one. Joso now. What else does he have up his sleeves? Joso maybe looking for a submission move of his own, right? Joso with a stomp to the midsection. And now Joso telling Exalted one to get up. Looking for the Joso Cutter. He hit it. Joso Cutter. Into the cover, count of one, count of two, kick out by Exalted One. Man, what an opening match here at Fastlane. But now Exalted One in a lot of trouble. Joso to go to Con Mania. Joso! Joso knee! To Mania he goes! Two! Joso is the number one contender. Woo! Joso is going to Con Mania. It's going to be Joso Mania. Oh, 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 oh my. Are you kidding me, guys? Joso is going to the show of shows. He's going to get a chance to challenge for the WWE Championship. But the question is, who is he going up against? Is he going up against Hunter Hand? Or is he going up against Shane the Gamer? We will find out in our main event tonight as the WWE title will be on the line. Beautiful, beautiful start to the show. Welcome to the CMU Fastlane. A little over a year ago at the Elimination Chamber event, I stared down the world champion, looked right into his eyes, and I saw fear. He knew the end of his title reign was near. He knew there would be no con mania for him. Not as a champion, at least. That man was you, Hunter Hand. Just over one year ago, I took the World Heavyweight Championship from you and made you tap out in the process. How about I do it again? See, I smell that exact same fear that I smelt one year ago. He knows history is about to repeat itself. He knows that I could take the title away from him just like I did before. Hell, he knows that his spot at Con Mania could go away just like that. So I know for a fact he will be bringing the CEO to ringside with him tonight. I, I know it's going to happen. But what if he left Con in the back? What if he went out there? in front of the entire world and conquered his fears. What if he beats me without the help of Khan? Well, for starters, Hunter, you could finally look at yourself in the mirror again. You could finally face your family again and shove that title in their face and shut them up for good. You could vanquish the ghost of last year's defeat. But if you show up with Khan by your side... You'll prove nothing. You'll prove that you're just a coward who can't get the job done by himself. Prove to everyone here you're a champion. Fight your own fights. That's my challenge to you tonight, Hunter. Fight me one-on-one. -on -one. Leave that Canadian bitch in the back and show the world who you really are. One-on-one, -on -one, Hunter. One-on-one. -on -one. Prove yourself. Whoa! Will Hunter Hand prove himself tonight? Will he accept that challenge from Shane? 
We'll find out. But you guys ready for a little Sky Dogs action? It's Lou Dog and Tevin Walker. Here we go. Sky Dogs on their way to the ring. It's gonna be a fun time. Oh yeah, I'm pumped guys, I am pumped, but this match coming up next should be a really, really good one. We're going to do the actual bettings this time though, so who will win? It's either going to be the Sky Dogs, Sky Dogs, or will it be the Dynasty? And this might be the greatest tag team in the history of the CMU. The Dynasty held on to those tag team titles for well over a year. And now they're looking to punch their ticket back to Con Mania. Can they do it? And there's Kevin Wade. Big fight feel. Number one contenderships on the line. Here we go. And their opponent, at a combined weight of 472 pounds, Kevin Wade and Isaac. So there you have it. Kevin Wade and Isaac Roa, the dynasty. The greatest tag team to have done it so far in the CMU. Absolutely incredible stuff, but make sure you guys leave a like here on this video if you're enjoying the show Also making sure you're subscribed and if you wish to you can always drop a donation right here any little bit is appreciated Keeps the show running But this number one contendership match is right around the corner The winner of this team will go on to face the winners of the convicts or the wolf pack Later tonight when those tag team titles are on the line. Hey Matthew Grantland. Good to see ya. So yes, do either bet Sky Dogs 5 or bet Dynasty 5. Here we go. Referee rings the bell, and Lou Dog and Kevin Wade start things off in the center of the ring. We're going to go to a collar and elbow tie-up. Into the corner right there. Referee, is he going to be forced to break it up? Yes, he is. Lou Dog back into a uh, little bit of a hold here on Kevin Wade. Back towards the corner, but Dynasty, Kevin Wade, counters that one with three elbows to the midsection. Creating a little bit of separation, back into the collar and elbow tie-up. Into the corner, is the referee going to have to break that apart again? Yes, he is. Are we going to get a clean break? Clean break, okay. Ludog, though, right back on the offense, grabs him, throws him into the corner, turns him around again, and Ludog just sweeps the legs out from underneath of him. But Kevin Wade back up to his feet, and Kevin Wade's just going to plant him down across his knee. Ludog rolls to the outside of the ring. But then back inside into the collar and elbow tie-up yet again. And then up against the ropes. Referee Scott with one T is going to have to break them up one more time. Is that a clean break? Ludog right up into a hurricanrana. There we go. And he hits finally a maneuver that is going to create a little bit of separation and a kick to the middle of the back as well. Uh, Raul says, fun fact, I've been IC champion for 211 days. Wow. That is a fun fact. Incredible run here for Raul Kapar. Wonder if he makes it through Con Mania with it. Oh! -ho -ho. But thank you so much, Raul, for that two bomb right there. Kevin Wade works across the chest of Ludog, and there's a shot right across his face as well. Then back inside the ring, he goes stomped to the middle of the back. Kevin Wade just starts choking out Ludog. And so far, this match has been really, really just feeling each other out, seeing what's to come in the matchup. They, these guys really aren't throwing too many heavy bombs quite yet. Not a heavy move, but there's a big heel kick. That's the start of things. Some more right hands from Ludog. And the count is underway. There's a drop kick from Ludog. As well as the battle continues on the outside of the ring. Kevin Wade's in a little bit of trouble. Ludog is kind of in control. Spin kick right there from 
Ludong, wait, counter from Kevin Wade. Kevin Wade, Kevin Wade, heel kick. Oh no, Ludong's head just hit off the back of the steel steps. Count of six from the referee. Kevin Wade then sends him right into the steel steps. No way. Count of seven. Are you kidding me? Are we going to see a count out victory? Count of eight. Kevin Wade, don't do it like this. Don't do it like this, Kevin Wade. Oh, Kevin Wade realizes that this isn't the way that he wants to win a tag team title opportunity. No, he goes back out there after Ludong. And the count continues. Count of two. Hey, Melina, how you doing? But Ludog throws Kevin Wade back inside the ring. Slides back in there. Ludog after Kevin Wade, but drives the elbow right there into the side of his head. Into the Code of Dynasty. Here it goes. Delivered. What a maneuver. Isaac Roa into the cover. Kevin Walker going to try to break it up, but he does. Wow, so the, bur the first big time maneuver of the evening has been hit by the Dynasty. The Code of Dynasty, their finishing maneuver, and the Sky Dogs are in a little bit of trouble. Now back into a Samoan drop, and Isaac Roll plants him down into the mat. Ludog. Deep arm drag and a boot misses that one on Isaac Roa now. Roa right around the back again. Kick to the leg. Three kicks to the leg. And then Isaac Roa with the knee to the face again. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about how my landlord literally asked me if I could work from the garage. Like, what is this guy? My mind is boggled that he actually asked that. I'm going to show Becca when she gets home and she's going to laugh her ass off. But Ludog. Oh, man. Ludog. Boot to the face. Getting out of that submission move. And there's a shot right there to the face. Isaac Roll sent back in. Their tag has been made. And the Sky Dog's going to go to work. Look at the snapmare. Boot to the back combo. Very nicely done here. And then a stomp to the right knee. No, that's the... Yeah, that's the right knee of Isaac Roa. But Roa continues to fight back. Back heel kick again. Punch to the face from Tevin. Chop right there. Another punch. Isaac Roa looking for the Roa bomb. Can he deliver it? Roa bomb delivered. Countered there by Tevin Walker. Tevin flatliner plants down Isaac Roa. And there's a shot right to the knee. Roa back on the offense. Throws him into the corner though. Tevin Walker maybe looking for the finishing move with Ludog. Can't catch it right there. Back elbow though. Back into the corner they go. And then Tevin Walker now puts him into the corner. Slams him face first. Is he going to make a tag now to Ludog? Ludog's officially in this match. And he's going to take to the middle rope. And there's a big clubbing blow to the arm. Into a Saido suplex. Ludog kind of rolling. Clothesline from the dog. Another clothesline from the dog. Boom, back heel kick. There we go, Ludog. Starting to feel that momentum. Look at Isaac Roll, though, and he tags in Kevin Wade. And Wade is now officially in clothesline from Kevin Wade. And the dynasty is rolling. Clothesline countered, though. Ludog with a shot right there. Knocks down Wade. Hang on. Isaac Roll is out of the ring. Ludog smells blood in the water. The Sky Dogs smell blood in the water. No way. They're going for it. Here they go again. Ludog. Oh, my God. What a kick and knee combo. We need a name for that move. To the cover. Two. Go. Oh. Kick out by Kevin Wade. Kick out by Kevin Wade. Wade sits him down. And now Wade is looking for the spear. Can Kevin hit the spear on Tevin? Tevin in trouble! Oh, what a spear from Kevin Wade! And the Dynasty, are they going back to Con Mania? Count of one, count of two, broken up by Ludog as he takes the referee out as well. The ref, Scott, is down. But lifted back up, there's a back elbow from Wade. Another clothesline from Kevin. Drops him up into the side face buster, whatever you want to call that. 
busting Tevin Walker wide open. We got blood in this matchup, but Walker now throws him back into the corner. Tevin Walker, no way! Shoulder first goes Wade. What a heel kick from Kevin, as Scott is now just getting back up to his feet. Tevin Walker counters that one with a jawbreaker back heel kick countered by Kevin Wade. Right hand to the face. Tevin Walker with a drop kick knocking him down again. And then Tevin with a drop kick to the face of Wade. What a matchup this has been. This is only our second match of the evening. We have so much more to come still. Tevin Walker throws him into the corner though. Wait, Tevin. Tevin, what do you think? No. No way, Tevin Walker. Tevin. He, he's going to go coast to coast. Tevin Walker. Coast to coast delivered. Wade is down. That's got to do it. That's got to be the end of the match. Tevin Walker's just got to hook the leg, and it's all over for Kevin Wade in the dynasty. Brings him back towards the center of the ring. I don't know if that's a smart call. Into the cover. Count of one. Count of two. Kevin kicks out. How did Kevin Wade kick out of that one? Into the Code of Dynasty. That's the second time they've hit it. That might be enough though. Here comes Ludog. Count of two. Broken up just in the nick of time. Ludog with a big save of this matchup. But the Code of Dynasty's now been hit twice. Oh my. What else is going to go down in this matchup? Roa looking for the Roa bomb. Tevin Walker. What a counter from Tevin. Back around the back. Into the German suplex. Into the cover. Count of one. Count of two. Kick out by Roa. Yeah, that's a scan there on Broken. Oh, but into a submission hold. Isaac Roa. Is he going to tap out here to Tevin Walker? No, he doesn't. Takes him down. Tevin Walker! Exploder suplex. Shot to the back. And Tevin desperately needs a tag to Ludog. He desperately needs it into a big snapmare. Look at that blood that is pouring down his face. Now he works back across the legs. Going from the top end to the bottom end. Now Ludog watching onwards as Tevin Walker is about to hit the super kick. Here he goes! Misses the super kick. Nobody home. Roa now thrown into the corner. Tevin Walker makes the tag. Sweeps him down. Ludog into a drop elbow. Dear me. Incredible matchup we're witnessing. Lou Dog goes for the German. Big time counter there from Isaac Roa, who shoots him right back down into the mat. Isaac Roa, right hand to the face. Lou Dog's in a lot of trouble. Lou Dog in a lot of trouble. Kamora out of nowhere. Kamora, he's caught. Lou Dog has no choice. Lou Dog taps out. The Dynasty are once again the number one contenders. The Sky Dogs fall victim to the greatest tag team in the history of the CMU. Wait, wait, what? Hang on, hang on, get back to the ring. No, they're not doing, you kidding me? You're kidding me, Sky Dogs, why? No, Blue Dog and Tevin are just beating down Dynasty. What is going on? Blue Dog, oh my God, Blue Dog, no! Blue Dog, Blueplex delivered, Tevin, Exploder! No freaking way! What are you doing, Sky Dogs? What are you doing, Sky Dogs? Waiting for him to get back up, Tevin, with a form to the face, going right after. No! Off the ropes, slams him down. Ludog has him up. Are you kidding me? Ludog! Butterfly! Pile driver! Tevin Walker to the top rope, and he's gonna tell Kevin Wade to get up. What is going on? Dear Lord Tevin, no! Blockbuster from the top row, halfway across the ring. And now Tevin's gonna go back out again. Tevin! 
don't do it! He's thinking Skywalker, don't do it, Tevin! No! Skywalker! Lou Dong! Lou! Driver delivered! Tevin! Super kick! Lou Dog! Tevin again lining it up! Lou! Driver! Super kick combo! Why Sky Dogs? Why? The following contest is a no disqualifications match. And it's for the Undisputed Internet Championship. I'm on site, since we not peak. Everything they say is out of my reach. It's so close to the end. Holy moly, everyone. I'm... I'm blown away. Tevin Walker dropping a 20 bomb. Thank you so much, Tevin. He says it had to be done. Oh, like, why? Why, though? Like, what a match we just saw between the Sky Dogs and the, and the Dynasty. It had to be done. Tevin Walker says it had to be done, but like, here's one thing that we're gonna have to figure out moving forward. Did they just not like the fact that they got beat? Or is this truly a change of heart for the Sky Dogs? We'll have to find out, won't we, in the coming weeks. But make sure you leave a like on this video. I'd love it to crack 100 likes here today. But it's time for this Members Championship matchup. And you ready, Kevin Langhoff? You ready, Nightcore? Rolling, 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 rolling. So members championship matchup right here, guys. Gonna be a good fight. I know it will be. So you ready for it? The members championship is to be defended only amongst members. And tonight, it continues. Even though Kevin Langhoff isn't a member, he's the members champion. <laughs> Raul, I must admit, Con Man is not in a good place mentally right now. He is very much... I'm gonna have to move in the next one. Like, this is not something I was expecting. I'm gonna have to move in the next one. There is absolutely zero way that I'm, uh... Like, the next month or two. Like, there's zero way that I'm putting up with this crap anymore. And it's not what I was expecting, but the way that he just approached that situation... I'm I'm not willing to give this guy any more money. You know what I mean? To live here. I'm going to find a different place. Um, 
Hey, we got a little sweet knees here from Kevin Lang. Hey, he became a member. <laughs> Called him out on it. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome back to Team Green. Let's do it. Three, two, one, let's go. Sweet knees are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Woo! And then Lux7, thank you, buddy. He says, I want your landlord in a Hell in Cell match. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just want him to be understanding that this is where his money comes from. It's from me literally screaming at a, t at a computer screen. Um, if he can't comprehend that, that that's where he's getting his payments from, and that's, who, that's how he's getting... What are we? We're... We're eight... Are we, we're nine, 1850, 1850 a month, 1850 a month to live here in an old ass place that has downstairs tenants. So I, I just like, you know what I mean? I'm not willing to put up with it anymore. I'm not willing to give him that much money. Also, he still never put in the dead hole. He still never fixed our dishwasher. There's still fences that he's got fences that have fallen down in the backyard that he's getting fixed. These have been things that we complained for over a year. Anyways, big shot right there from Nathan Barker. So I'm just not willing to give him any more money. Oh, Kevin Langhoff, though, from behind. Goes right into it. Nice man handle slam. I want your landlord in the hell. Oh, no, 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 no. What is going on? What is going on? Captain's hook already. No. Back elbow, though. Three back elbows right there from Nathan Barker to the face of Kevin Langhoff. And now is going to lift him up on his shoulders. Kevin Langhoff hung up over the top rope. And now up top again, misses the elbow drop. Nobody home. Kevin Langhoff eats a kick to the midsection. Let's get the bets going for this matchup here. Yes, let's do that. So who will win? So who will win? It's either going to be Kevin. Yeah, Dale Jr. 88 Eagles. Welcome to how expensive uh, living is. It, it's so expensive just to literally live in a place <laughs> that you don't own. I don't get it, but... Okay, so let's get this officially underway. Your bets are right here. Let me know. Who do you think will win? It's either going to be Bet Kevin 5 or Bet Barker 5. It's okay. I understand why you thought maybe it was a... Uh, why it was a... Whatchamacallit. Tag team match. Kevin lying off with the knee to the midsection. There's a kick. Two kicks to the chest. And Nathan Barker, after that incredible performance at the Elimination Chamber, is uh, trying to capture the member's title here tonight. He's going to have to work hard. There's no question about it. Kevin Langhoff isn't unbeatable, but... Did I... Oh, Becca knows about the situation. She doesn't know about the latest text that just came through while we were live. About the whole move. Move your work into the garage. <laughs> Laying off Larry almost put away Nathan Barker though. And now back up to his feet. Nathan Barker. Oh, a punch from Kevin. Between me and Becca, so it's two of us splitting it, but it's still expensive as hell. I'm actually going to send a text message to Becca right now so that she can see just how ridiculous it is. Oh, Nathan Barker's going swinging. Here we go. Around and around he goes. Ten, 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 ten. Over and over. And here comes Barker off the big swing. Wait, what a counter by Langhoff. And a shoulder tackle knocks him down. Kevin Langhoff, though, he's got to be a little dizzy after that one, right? There's no question, but Kevin's still seeing straight at this moment. 
Kevin, I, I mean, I don't know how. Like, he got spun around a bunch of times. How is he still standing? Right back into the offense. Kevin Langhoff looking for the captain's hook. Looking for the hook. The captain's hook is in deep. Nathan Barker. Nathan is held into it deep. Barker, what is he going to do? Is he going to tap out? Or will he find his way out? Three elbows to the face. Nathan Barker now. Nathan eats the jawbreaker countered by Langhoff. Reverses the Langhoff Lariat and sweeps his head down. Kevin Langhoff still dizzy though from the spin earlier. He's still hurting from that spin. Can't see straight and he just got rocked. Count of one, count of two. No way, what? Nathan just stole it, what? Nathan just stole it. Nathan stole it off of a side Russian leg sweep. What? Nathan beating him with a random, random move. No question. But it was over before it even really began. Wow. That sucks if you're Kevin Langhoff or fans of Kevin Langhoff, but it definitely is an awesome night if you're fans of Nathan Barker. Here is your winner and new undisputed internet champion, Nathan Barker. He's still dizzy. That, that spin must have done a lot more than we thought it did. Wow, incredible stuff though. Congratulations, Nathan Barker, winning the member's title. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And from the wasteland, weighing in at Nightmare Inferno, everybody. Oh, this is not going to be good. ELK and D&D, best of luck, my friends. Okay, guys. We now have a poll ready for you. Let me know who will win. Do either Bet Nightmare 5 or Bet Face 5. Here comes ELK. You guys are going to have to chant it with me. Weighing in at 213 pounds, the natural E. Ready? When that music drops, we're gonna chant Elk. Elk, 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 Elk. There we go. He's here, everybody. The E L K. Mr. Baggiest Elk himself. But him and uh, D and D are gonna have to work really, really well together here tonight. And he's waiting for his tag team partner, Mr. D and D. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in. At Listen to the booze. They haven't forgot what he did to Charles Wright way back in the day. Clearly, they haven't forgotten about that cruiserweight title reign. But here comes Mr. DND. So we will see exactly 
if these two can get the job done. This is a handicap match, a two-on-one scenario. It is also elimination. So Nightmare must eliminate both DND and ELK in order to win. Big fight right now. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you're enjoying the show, though, okay? Leave that like. Let's crack 100 likes here today. We got 130 watching. Former Cruiserweight champion right there. Here we go. Referee, ring that bell. And we are starting things off with Nightmare Inferno. Oh no, just gonna throw him to the side. Well, that's not too good. Wait a second. Shot right there from ELK. And Elk, wait, what? Elk going for a finishing move already. Elk going for a finishing move. No, 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 no way. Elk, oh, whole back body drop counter from Nightmare Inferno. At least Elk knows what he has to go for early on. He knows that he's got to try for his best move possible. But I don't know if he's going to be able to hit it. Oh, no. Looking for the choke slam already. No. No way. Choke slam to ELK to the cover. Count of one. Count. Kick out at one? There's a kick to the back as well. Nightmare Inferno's looking for the internal nightmare. How you doing, Renu? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Nice to have you. Looking for that internal nightmare, though. Above his head. What a DDT counter from ELK. Big time counter from Elk. He needed that one. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. He's not going to counter that one. Eternal nightmare. That's got to do it. Count of one. Count of two. Kick out by Elk. How is Elk still fighting? No, he's going for it again. ELK in a lot of trouble. Elk, uh-oh. Elk, though, with another counter. Elbow to the side of the head of Nightmare Inferno. And then going back on the offense. Float over, suplex down into the mat. Elk has got to hit a big-time maneuver. There's no way he can beat him without hitting something big. Neck breaker. That's a good start. Backs up into the corner. Elk maybe looking for that big boot. Elk. Lining it up, here's something! Discus boot to the face of Nightmare Inferno. Now waiting for him to get right back up to his feet. Inferno in a lot of trouble, kick, no! Sweeps him down. And then right there, into the half Boston Crab and Elk has to tap out. Signals the end, mocking somebody. Maybe mocking The Undertaker? Maybe mocking Kane, I don't know. But then into the... Oh my god! Nightmare Inferno's caught! He's caught! DNT's got him in a submission move! Look at that knee breaker, but Inferno gets out of that one. Nightmare Inferno back up to his feet. No way! Counter there by DNT into the corner. Big drop kick. There's a boot to the midsection, and there's a knee across the midsection of Nightmare Inferno. And is DNT going to the top rope, middle rope here? What's DNT thinking? Wait. Taking a little breather. This is not the time to take a breather, man. This is the time to stay on the offense. Goes for the elbow and misses that one as Inferno moves out of the way. Nightmare now lifts DND up by the back of his head. And DND. ELK has now gathered himself at ringside. He is waiting here, watching the final bit of this matchup. I wonder if ELK is going to get involved in some way, shape, or form. DND now lifted up. No way! DND into the choke slam. That's gonna do it. Kick out at one? Oh no. Looking for the eternal nightmare. Inferno has him up into eternal nightmare. Into the cover. One, two. Kick out by DD again. How is DD staying alive? There's a shot to the back as well. DND, elbow to the midsection, clothesline hung up over the middle rope. And Inferno just gonna drag his knee across the back of his neck, dropping him down. Inferno, super confident with everything he's done, into the cover again. Count a two kick out by DND. 
but Inferno again mocking the dead man. What? No! What? You're kidding me! Oh my god! Undertaker's here! Undertaker! What? Undertaker! Choke slam! What? No way! TNT now! Gonna go to the top rope! Elk is back here watching! He's climbed up from ringside! TNT! Five star frog splash! TNT to the cover! One, two, DND just beat Nightmare Inferno. Oh my God. Here's the thing, Jason Barker. I want to apologize deeply to you. You are 1,000% right. Um, Conman made a error in the card today. Conman made a major error in the card. I didn't include you. Holy crap. I felt like there was a match I was forgetting, and that was the match. Dude, I am so sorry. Jason, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so sorry. You were supposed to be on this card. Um... That is completely on me. I'm so sorry, buddy. We will get that match happening again here literally in the next week. Um, that's completely on me. But big win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Television Championship. TV title, Who is, who's challenging it? Oh, it's gonna be Jason Dreamer. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm actually really, 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 really sorry about that. Um, I'm so sorry. Seriously, Barker. I can't say it enough because you're supposed to be here. And I literally just didn't have the match record. I didn't record the match. I feel like crap after that. I'm so sorry, man. Impact is moving to Thursdays. Awesome. I won't Seth be covering it, though. Man did my letting you guys know that right Jacob now. We've talked about Thursdays out. being very important to me and Becca, right? We won't be able to cover it, but yeah. But are you ready for the TV title? It's time for Crossbow versus Jason Dreamer. So those who picked D&D &D and ELK, congratulations, you were actually right. But the television champion in Crossbow on his way slowly down to the ring. And this TV title match uh, should be good. Should be really good. But Crossbow, man, uh, I hope his overconfidence hasn't, hasn't gotten in his head. Because he's going in there with a three-time WWE champion. There's very few people who can hold their own in this ring with Crossbow, but I'm going to say Jason Dreamer certainly can. But yes, most likely looks like NXT will be moving to Tuesdays with the news that Impact is uh, moving to Thursdays. So that should be... Uh, should be good here for the channel when we get to stream on Tuesdays, but we unfortunately will not be able to cover Impact Wrestling. At least not in its current state, not right now, not with our current schedule and all of that. And Rebellion has been moved to Sunday, April 25th. 
Has it? Okay. April 25th. So a day later. Okay. But this TV title match is going to get underway. I'm really looking forward to it. It's unfortunately the only night we have guaranteed together there on Broken, so it's, uh, it's something we take advantage from of. Battle Creek, Michigan. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Jason the Dream. There's Dreamer. Introducing the champion from Norman, Oklahoma. Weighing in at 268 pounds, he is the WWE Television Champion, the Super Athlete. All right, so do either bet Crossbow 5 or bet Dreamer 5 right here in the live chat. Let's get this TV title underway. Referee rings the bell, and here we go. Man, what'd you guys think about Undertaker attacking Nightmare Inferno? Remember, Nightmare Inferno uh, kind, of, kind of dispatched of Kane very quickly. Remember that? Maybe. Maybe Undertaker's out for revenge. I don't know. G. Jones is asking, why is the TV title being defended on a special? Because this is actually just a TV episode of the CMU. Yes, it's a special event, but it's still the TV episode. This is not actually classified as a Con Man Universe pay-per-view. It is a TV episode, just kind of like, you know... Fighter Fest with AEW or uh, whatever that Halloween show was, Halloween Havoc with uh, NXT, right? Things like that. So that's the reason why the TV title is being defended here today because this is technically a TV episode. Oh, Crossbow, though. Reaching out to the side after that big move right there, the Meteora across the face of Jason Dreamer. Now into the cover yet again. Count of one, kick out by the Dream Man. And Dreamer, after coming so close to becoming number one contender, makes sense why he wants to go after the television title because, <sighs> yeah, it, it just makes a lot of sense. The man is a three-time WWE champion, and if you defend the television title five times successfully, you get a shot at a world or WWE championship. It's that simple. So, I mean, sounds simple. It's not that simple, but it's fairly simple in concept. And that's why Jason Dreamer is out here right now. Jason Dreamer lines him up. Bulldog on the outside of the ring. Nice little shot right there to Crossbow. Now back up to his feet. Crossbow gets slid back inside the ring. Slap to the face though from Crossbow. Hung up over the middle rope. And Jason Dreamer looking strong. Elbow across the back. Running knee to the face of Crossbow. And now the Dream Man's going to take to the skies. Maybe looking to fly. Jason, what's he going to do? Elbow drop across the back of the head. Crossbow's in a lot of trouble. Jason Dreamer, knee to the midsection. Famous sir delivered. Now pulls him back towards the center of the ring. That famous sir has won him championships. Into the cover. Count of two. Kick out by Crossbow. Now wrenches on the neck of Crossbow. I'm going to say this right now. Crossbow does not look the same.
crossbow does not look the same. Now lining up the sling blade. Is this going to be enough? Oh, counter by crossbow. And just like that, crossbow has stopped all momentum of Jason Dreamer. But then Jason Dreamer countered something big of crossbow as well. There's a punch to the midsection. Another punch. Three punches to the midsection. Backs up away. Jason Dreamer taken down though by crossbow. A right hand to the face. Crossbow floats around. Mitchell Nuku driver. A version of it. A little bit more like a falcon arrow. But then back into the corner. He's looking to line it up. Here it comes. Locked and loaded. Cross fire delivered. How you doing, Cody Bank? Good to see you, my man. Hopefully you're doing well here on this lovely Thursday. But then back towards the center of the ring. Crossbow hooks the leg into the cover. Count of one. Count of two. Kick out. It's all right, Con. You're up until the time I wake up next week. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I am, man. Thank you so much for the five bump. Dreamer just gets a hammer fist across the back of his neck, though. Close line. Another close line. Three close lines delivered. Crossbow again. German suplex. <laughs> It's all right, Con. You're up until the time I wake up Ooh. next week. Oh. Misses the knee. Crossbow missed a big time knee. That was huge. And now Jason Dreamer slowly going to now lift Crossbow back up to his feet. The former WWE champion and the current television champion going to war. And then Dreamer locks in a little bit of a, uh, a choke hold. Headlock, somewhere in between. Crossbow, though, continues to hold on. Not tapping out. Now Dreamer back, looking for a sling blade. Can Dreamer hit his finishing move? Dreamer going for the big one. Jason Dreamer! Another counter by Crossbow. And Crossbow counters that one. Looking for another German suplex and releases it. Stomp to the midsection. And Crossbow right back down into the cover again. Dreamer in trouble. Count of two. Kick out by Jason Dreamer. What else does Crossbow have to hit? Crossbow went for the crossfire. Nobody home. Jason Dreamer counters that. Suplex lands him right on the back of his head. And I think Crossbow just hit really hard. I think he landed right on the back of his head. Almost towards the top part of it. Uppercut there, drop kick though from Crossbow catches him. Kick to the midsection. Now here's the kicks right to the face of Dreamer. Locked in that keyhole, not moving anywhere. Jason Dreamer, man. Hangs on, not giving up, not tapping out to the key hold. And Crossbow pushes him back down. Dreamer with an opportunity, throws him into the corner. Remember, Crossbow's head was rocked earlier from that side suplex. Wait a second, Dreamer! Plants him down right on his head! Oh my god, that was all of the way to Jason Dreamer on the head of Crossbow! Don't tell me! Do not tell me! Dreamer hooks the leg! Count a one! Count a two! Oh my god! What? Crossbow's out cold. Jason Dreamer is the new television champion. Holy moly. The face buster from the corner rocked Crossbow. Wow, Dreamer is the new champ. What do you guys think Here about that? Your winner and new WWE Television Champion, Jason the Dream. Thank you so much, Super Sub, for upgrading to Legends Row. I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you very, 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 very much, man. Thank you so much. But congratulations to Jason Dreamer.
Are you ready for a little convicts action? Are you ready for the tag team titles to be on the line? Here comes Peyton Cash. Remember though, leave a like on this video. We're closing in on 100 likes. I'd be greatly appreciated if we could reach it. But Peyton Cash, do you trust him? Are you ready for this big fight? Now, take a look, though. The convicts still not coming out together. They haven't been coming out together since Robert Briggs split away from them. They've been having issues ever since, but they still are a tag team. Still are a big tag team together. And here comes his other half, Captain Solomon. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. So, Solomon. And Cash, can they get the job done here today? Remember to do your bets. Either do Bet Convict 5 or Bet Wolf 5. And then, of course, they are taking on the tag team champion, the Wolf Pack, here tonight. But there's the captain. You excited for this tag team title match? I know. I know most of you probably are. <laughs> the MJF of the CMU. <laughs> Fair enough. But here comes the tag team champions, the Wolfpack. Oh my. You guys ready for it? Feels like a big fight, doesn't it? These tag team titles don't change hands very often and they have a chance of changing hands here tonight. Can the convicts get it done? This rivalry, this build has been awesome. Watching Peyton Cash and Captain Solomon destroy the Wolfpack backstage, throwing them off the side of the ramp. You're working hard, Jason Barker. Proud of you for how hard you're working. But here's the tag team titles. Man, the captain on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 447 pounds. Cash man and the captain. Cash man, the captain and their opponent at a combined weight of 448 pounds. They are the tag team, the white. And Matthew Grant, the Wolf Pack. All right. Here we go. Scott going to raise those tag team titles high. Referee. Ring that bell. And here we go. Peyton Cash starts off with White Wolf in the center of the ring. And then Peyton Cash now. Right into a side headlock right there. 
with White Wolf. Back into the center of the ring. Side headlock one more time. Takes him down. Headlock takeover. How many days left till the end of the month? Literally one week. The likelihood of houses being available for April 1st are not that likely, so it's looking like it'll be May. Sweep of the legs right there from Peyton Cat or to Peyton Cash. Now back up to his feet. Tag has been made. In comes Matthew Grantland. Sends him off the ropes. Peyton Cash. Double shoulder tackle and knocking down the challengers to the tag team titles. I'm. I don't know if good's the right word for it. I'm upset. I'm sad. I'm frustrated. Just literally. Literally a lot of emotions kind of coming out of me right now. I haven't been having a good week, or last month, I should say. I haven't been having a good month mental health-wise, and today I'm just, this right here. Oh, I'm just, ugh. Like, this is how I pay you, Mr. Landlord. This is how I pay you. If you, if you want me to stop working, you're not gonna get paid. Uh-oh. Now Matthew Grantlin takes him down. Chop right there to the chest. And now Captain Solomon there. Sent over the top rope and down to the outside. There's a stomp to the midsection. Discus boot, nobody home. And then Captain Solomon eats the clothesline. Matthew Grantlin kips up right after that one. And he's looking like a million bucks. Looking to try to, re to retain these tag team titles. But Solomon gonna try to argue that, not allow that to happen, and sends him back inside the ring. Solomon back in there. Grantland's gonna do a little dance, but Solomon now, double underhook. Boom, down he goes. There's a takedown right there from Captain Solomon across the back of White Wolf. His partner in Matthew Grant. And there's an elbow right there across the chest. Now lifts him back up to his feet. Solomon sends him into the corner. Captain Solomon, is he going to make a tag? No way. Are we going to see the Beast Bomb RKO? It's going to be the Beast Bomb RKO. Beast Bomb RKO. Somehow, the combo, and now into the cover. Is that going to be enough? Count of one broken up there by White Wolf. Big power bomb. But White Wolf doesn't roll all the way out. Matthew Grantlin counters back right there with a forearm to the face. Stomp to the midsection. Cash just taken down. Gonna work on his, his shoulder area right there. Tag has been made. Here they go. The Wolf Pack looking for the wide out. There it is. Right into the mat. That might be enough to retain the Tag Team Championship. Into the cover. Count of two. But Peyton Cash kicks out of that one. Big time kick out for Peyton. Clothesline missed that one. Oh, and a clothesline from White Wolf. Catching Peyton Cash. Now there's a shot right there to the arm. Back up to his feet. Clothesline delivered. Another clothesline. Ducks underneath. Three clotheslines from Peyton Cash. He is really kind of rolling, but a back body drop there from White Wolf stops him right in his tracks. Some back up again. And then into the corner. Peyton, what else are you looking for, man? Peyton Cash kicked to the midsection. 
Another kick to the midsection. And a clothesline knocks down one half of the tag team champions. Stomp to the middle of the pack as well. Doesn't allow the hot tag to be made. And then just wrenching on the eyes of White Wolf. Peyton Cash, man. Kick, kick, kick. And follows it up with the punch to the face. Peyton is rolling. Knee drop right there across the side of the head. But White Wolf again sweeps the legs out from underneath him. Not allowing him to build up any momentum. But Captain Solomon is now the legal man. And a back elbow catches White Wolf. Stomp right there from Solomon. And imagine if the convicts would be able to capture the tag team titles with the dynasty waiting onwards. Remember, the dynasty actually beat the convicts to unify the tag team championships. Imagine if convicts were able to pick up that win and go on to face the dynasty for the titles, try to redeem themselves almost a whole year later. Over a year later. Oh wait, Captain Solomon! Solomon! Boom! What? Two bombs! Oh my god, three! Cash! Money! Bombs! Are you kidding me? To the cover, count of one! Count of two! Oh my god, new tag team champions! White Wolf totally wasn't healed up after that final statement on the concrete! New tag team champions! Whoa! Happy birthday, Peyton Cash! They are now, I believe I'm correct in saying this, two-time tag team champions. They have not held on to the titles since they were unified, since they lost the unification match against Dynasty. They have not held on to the titles since then, and here they are, back as your tag team champions. Congratulations to these two. What a win. Peyton Cash and Captain Solomon are the new tag team champions. Looks like they're going to Con Mania. You ready for Brad? Welcome back, man. After being taken out by Mr. Tornikane, you've had a few weeks to heal up, and now you're getting an opportunity. Can you beat Mr. Tornikane? Can you go on to Con Mania? Will you be the number one contender for Intercontinental Champion Raul Kapar? We are going to find out, guys, who is taking on Raul at Con Mania. but he's got to get past this man. And his opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 260 pounds, Hurricane. And there's Mr. Tornikane. Get your guys' bets in. Do either bet, bet, Brad 5 or Bet Torn 5 right here in the live chat. Yes, it's Mr. Tornicane. Damn, 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 damn. Damn is right, Trey. Damn is right. Referee rings the bell. And Brad and Torn are going to start things off. Nice little hurricanrana there from Brad Rhea. Then a kick to the middle of the back. 
Brad Rhea, man. This is the battle of the UYE one more time. How many times is Tornikane going to turn on Brad? This is now the second time he's turned on him. I, if I'm Brad Rhea, I would never, ever, ever forgive Tornikane. <laughs> never. Oh, nice heel kick. Stepping through and catching him right in the face. And there's a kick to the middle of the back. Tornikane no selling that one. And puts Brad Rhea back into the corner. Brad Rhea eats a clothesline to the back of the head. And there's a stomp to the midsection. Misses that one. Catches him again. But Brad Rhea throws it back into the corner. Knocking the referee down in the process. And there's an elbow right there. Puts him down. Brad Rhea somehow hurt himself in the process there. And Tornikane's going to be the one first up to his feet. Wait, Brad Rhea no selling it entirely. Hang on. Brad was just taking a little bit of a breather. Now he turns him into the corner. Kick to the midsection. Kick to the face. Punch to the face. No. Oh my god. He's mocking Tornikane. He's lining up the drive by Claymore. No way. Claymore drive by. From Rhea completely mocking Tornikane. Into the cover. Count of one. Count of two. Tornikane kicks out. Oh, using one of his best moves against him. But now Rhea going to go to the top rope. What's Brad Rhea looking for? Rhea! Shooting star press out of nowhere. One, two. Tornikane kicks out. Oh. Now Rhea turns him over into the half Boston Crab. Brad Rhea not relinquishing the hold. Actually, now he relinquishes the hold. I guess he ran out of stamina, potentially. Tornikane wasn't tapping out. But Brad Rhea's got to stay on the offense. Sends him right back into an elbow. And a standing shooting star press. What? Dear Lord. Oh, but a takedown by Tornikane. Now Tornikane has him up. Tornikane looking for something big. Has his arm behind him, trying to pop the arm out of its socket. Clothesline. Hey, keep, hey, KP, Vedez, Vedez, something like that. How you doing? Tornikane with a couple clotheslines there to Brad Rhea. Head, but no. No, not like this. Not like this. Future shock. D. D. T. Come on, Tornikane. Are you kidding me? One, two. Brad kicks out. Brad Rhea kicks out of the Future Shock DDT. What else is Tornikane going to do, though? Tornikane just deadlifting him up. Sweeps him down into a powerbomb type of move. And he rolls to the outside of the ring. Wait, what? What? I know this is no disqualification, but are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Tornikane? No! The bat to the back of the head. Drops him down. And Rhea now gonna send back up to the top rope. Brad looking for the elbow drop to the back. Brad with a clothesline. Another clothesline delivered. Did I say it was no DQ? I don't believe I did, but it's no DQ. Con man might have just forgot to say that at the start. Brad Rhea with a big time super kick though to Tornikane. I didn't conveniently, I just forgot to mention it, my friends. It's a D no DQ match. Now, Tornikane. Oh, Insiguri. Rhea with another one to the back of the head. Since when has this match been no DQ? Since literally the very start, but I forgot to mention it. That's literally what I'm telling you guys. I forgot to mention it. I'm sorry. Brad Rhea now telling him to get up. Brad. Brad. Oh, my God. What a move. One, two, kick out by Torn. How? How did Tornikane kick out? No, has him up. Gut buster to Rhea. Back into the corner and Tornikane just sits down. You know he's done. You know he's ready for the finish of this match. Tornikane goes down into a submission hold. Wrenching back on the neck of Rhea. Rhea might have to tap out. The Tornikane bite is in. Tornikane 
can't get him to tap. Rhea counters with a knee to the back of the head. Punch the face of Tornicate here. The battle of the UYE tag team is underway. Oh, headbutt, headbutt again. Two headbutts delivered. One, two, kick out by Rhea. Torna Kane with a stomp there. And Rhea in trouble. Torn looking for the end. Kick. Future shock. D. D. T. One. Two. Three. Torna Kane is going to Con Mania. And Torna Kane is facing Raul Kapar for the Intercontinental title. What a match, man. But Torna Kane is going to Mania. Raul Kapar, you now know your challenger. You now know your challenger. What a match, though. Oh. We've still got three matches to come, and they're all title matches, everybody. Molina versus Sofia Barrages for the women's title. Dave Rua versus Lux7 for the US title. And Hunter Hand versus Shane the Gamer for the WWE title. Three big matches coming up. Torn a cane. Here is your winner, Hurricane. Congratulations, Torn. What a win for you. No! Oh my god, look out behind you! Torn a cane! It's the bastard! Raul! Raul! With the steel chair! Raul Kapar, the bastard, is here! And this is a message to the new number one contender for the IC title. Raul looking to put him down with the last breath right on the chair. Can he hit it? Last breath on the chair! Oh, Raul Kapar getting even from last week when Tornikane attacked Raul Kapar getting even from last week the last breath onto the chair and now another shot to the knee here's what's to come at Conmania Tornikane here's what's to come the Intercontinental Champion bringing the fight right to the new number one contender and Raul is taking apart the announce table Wait, is he going to do exactly what Tornikane did? Wait a second, Raul. Raul, he's just getting even, folks. Tornikane has this coming to him, especially after what he did last week. Raul Kapar picks back up the chair. Is he going to go back inside the ring? Yes, he is. Slides back in there. Tornikane is down still. Raul across the back of Torn. Tornikane, you deserve this. This is karma. You're damn right it is. After turning on Brad Rhea and attacking Raul Kapar, you absolutely, full-heartedly deserve this beatdown. Then back there, onto the table. Raul, he's looking to put him away. This is called karma. Lifts him up. Raul with the karma DDT. And now the fans are back on the side of Raul, chanting, this is awesome. But again now, lifting him back up again. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Your actions have consequences. And Raul with another DDT. Karma is a bitch tonight. And now Raul stomps to the midsection. Oh, Raul locking in the Bangalore breaker. Bangalore breaker on Torna Kane. Torna Kane is caught in it on top of that broken announce table. Raul not letting go. And now he lets go. Message received. Torna Kane, this is the Intercontinental Champion. The following contest is a no disqualifications match. And it's for the World Women's Championship. Another no disqualification.
Wow, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for Sofia Barajas? Big Tiger says he thinks it should have been Raul versus Tornikane tonight and then Tornikane versus Braddock on Mania. Fair enough, man. That's what you think. Um, for me, the story is... Oh, I just realized that my face cam is off. <laughs> just realized the face cam is still off, but... For me, the story basically was Tornikane turning on Brad Rhea. The tag team titles were just like a thing that they were going to be briefly focused on. Then we were pushing Tornikane towards winning his Grand Slam championship, potentially at Con Mania. He's got to get through Raul Kapar to win the Grand Slam, but to me, that's a bigger match than Brad Rhea versus Tornikane. You know what I mean? Are you ready, though, for the women's champion match? Oh, yeah. I'm excited for this one. Here comes Melina. Melina, or will it be Sophia? So Sophia Barajas actually pinned the women's champ, made her submit, if I'm not mistaken. Made her submit, right? Either that or pinned her, something like that. But she does have a win over the women's champion, and that's why she has this match here tonight. Melina's got to get through this. Make sure you get your bets in, though. Do either bet Melina 5 or bet Sophia 5. And make sure you're also leaving that like. Big old like on the video. Once again, happy birthday, Peyton Cash. Thanks for stopping in, man. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Melina hands out to the side, ready to defend that women's title. And you know who's lurking in the shadows is Rebecca Helfritz. Rebecca Helfritz is the number one contender at Con Mania. Won the Royal Rumble. So who will go on to face her? Who will be the champion? Will it be Sophia or will it be Melina? Lots of water, Raul. Just drink lots of water, man. Lots of it. When you think you've had enough, drink the more. Challenger from Raleigh, North Carolina, Sophia. Introducing the champion from another time. She is the world women's champion, the witch. All right, women's title on the line. Here we go. Once again, get your bets in. Do either bet Melina 5 or bet Sophia 5. You got two minutes and 51 seconds left until the end of the poll. Get those votes in. Referee, ring that bell. And Sophia and Melina, wait a sec. Wait, what, 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 oh my God. Amazon is clutch, Amazon is clutch is in. The clutch is in deep on Melina. Melina, this is the move she tapped out to, I'm pretty sure. Melina, oh no, the knee to the face of Sophia. Catching her right there. Sophia eats a kick to the midsection and drops her down into the DDT. Oh, Melina, no, no, no way. Melina, going for it, going for the witch kick, witch kick delivered. To the cover. One, two. Sophia kicks out of that one. Sophia just kicked out of the witch kick. Are you kidding me? And now Melina's gonna go to work on the injured challenger tonight. Melina lifts her up, drops her down. Big time suplex. And Sophia Barajas in a lot of trouble and looking to work on the head. The neck area. Sophia, you do not want to be there with Melina. She's just targeting your neck, trying to kick your head off again. 
Molina, double stomp to the chest. Molina, oh my god, another kick right there. Molina now, she's gonna look to lift her up into a powerbomb position. Molina has her up. Sophia though, Sophia into the cover. Sophia's got her. One, two. Oh my god, no way, so. No way! What? What just happened? Sophia just stole the women's championship. Sophia just stole the women's championship. The backslide. Sophia's the new women's champion. What? Oh, what in the world? Sophia Barajas. Just stole the women's title from Molina. What does that mean for Conmania? A simple roll up the deadliest move in all of sports entertainment, but. Here is your winner and new world women's Holy champion. crap! Sophia. Sophia's the women's champion. She won that thing in like two minutes. No way. Oh, and Sophia dancing, but Molina's back in the ring. No, Molina. No, no, no. Molina with the witch kick. Wait, wait, that's Rebecca Alfreds. Alfreds is here. Rebecca Alfreds is here. No way. Alfreds with a drop kick to the back of Molina. Alfreds is attacking the former women's champion. No way, Rebecca. Big, big move. The purple haze. Connected. Rebecca has Sophia. No way. Purple haze to Sophia. Rebecca Helfritz sending a message to the new women's champion that she's the Royal Rumble winner. Sophia Purple Haze. And Rebecca. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the Million Dollar United States Championship. Time for the U.S. title to go on the line. Lux 7, you're up. Man, oh man. Um, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Molina lost the title in like two minutes. A surprise roll-up was enough. Sophia Barajas has her number. And then Rebecca Helfritz came out and attacked both of them right at the very end. You guys ready? Dave Rua and Lux7, big time fight. Welcome to the CMU draw. Welcome, my friend. Phil McManus. Yeah. <laughs> the music probably sounds so funny with Dave coming out. But congratulations, Phil. Welcome to the CMU draw. All right, Dave Rua on his way down to the ring. The million dollar United States champion. And Dave has been defending this title a lot recently. He's been a fighting champion. There's no doubt about it. But he might be coming up against the toughest opponent he's had yet in Lux 7. Granted, the villain was freaking tough. But Lux 7's been on a little bit of a roll. Little bit of a roll. Make sure you guys do leave that like on this video if you're enjoying the show. Also, making sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you guys wish to, you can always drop a little super chat donation. Doesn't matter how much or how little. Any little bit is appreciated to keep this show rolling. Here we go. Co-main event of the evening. And still to come, the WWE title will be on the line between Hunter Hand and Shane the Gamer. Introducing the challenger 
from Richmond, Virginia, weighing in at 228 pounds, L-U-C-K. There's lucky luck, 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 luck. Introducing the champion from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 214 pounds. He is the million dollar United States champion, Dave. And there's Dave Rua. Lucha, oh, Lucha, good God. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got ourselves Lux7 versus Dave Rua to start things off. Once again, let me know right here in the live chat who do you think is going to win by doing either Bet Rua5 or Bet Luck5 right here in the live chat. Bet Rua5 or Bet Luck5. <laughs> Little bit, Raul. But side headlock locked in. There's a punch right to the face. Now a takedown there by Dave Rua. Lifts Lux7 back up to his feet. Hammer fist across the back of the head. 22 minutes remain in the show here today, everybody. Going to be a good final 22 minutes. So don't blink. Don't move. Lots of action still to come. Lux7 drops him down on the back. And Dave is in a lot of trouble right here. A battle of respect, though, right here between Lux7 and Dave Rua. Uppercut, though, from Dave. Catches him, but there's a punch to the face. And then Lux7 gets driven down into the mat by Dave Rua. Nice clothesline. Oh. And there's a takedown as well. But now Dave Rua lifted right back up to his feet. And there's a snap takedown again. And Dave's going to go to the ground and pound game. Here we go. There's some left hands. And a stomp to the midsection as well. Dave is starting to pull a little bit ahead in the matchup. Con, you don't find it's weird how it's nearly the end of the month? It's so weird. It's so weird. It, it doesn't feel like it should be April. It doesn't feel like it should be Mania season. It still feels like it should. we should be rolling up on the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Like, it feels like this should be Royal Rumble season, not actually Mania season yet. But, been weird. Back up to their feet. Dave Rua, oh, what a knee from Lux7. Lux7 just caught him with a big time maneuver, and that's going to be enough to give him a little bit of advantage in this matchup. Luck driving his knee in across the back of the head of Dave Rua. Now back up to their feet. Lux7 with a drop kick knocks him down. Lifts him up yet again. Is he going for another kick? He does, but Dave Rua counters that one. Picks him up and drops him down right there across the back. And Dave Rua again with another backbreaker. Very good match. Wait, Dave. Dave, what are you thinking, Dave Rua? Dave, he's going up. Dave, already, no way. Dave Rua, elbow drop, misses that one. Nobody home. Oh, he was going for his big maneuver. Kick to the midsection now from Lux7. Lux7 into the Brain Buster. Ouch, that's a hard-hitting maneuver. Into the cover, count of one, count of two, kick out by Rua. And now Lux7. Lux7, ooh. Pushed away by Dave, he was looking for lucky number seven, and what a clothesline from Rua knocks him down. to the face, big time counter, clothesline hung up over the middle rope. And back to work he goes. Dave Rua again, lifts him up. Rua, big brain buster. Oh, that usually sets up a maneuver from Rua. Dave, you've got an opportunity to go flying again. Dave Rua, what is he doing? Oh my God, he's got a big submission move. The Boston Crab is locked in, trying to make lucky number seven tap out. 
Can he do it? No, Luck finds his way out. Taking down the leg, pitching the leg, and then drop kicking him away. Rua flying around this ring, but now Luck7 back on the offense. Dave Rua hit with a German suplex. Luck7 lifts him back up to his feet. Luck, kick to the midsection. What is he going for? Another brain buster. Oh, cracking him on the head. Rua's in a lot of trouble. Count of one, count of two. Rua kicks out just in the nick of time. But Luck7 now looking for him to go into his finishing move. Rua. Oh, what a counter from Dave. But Luck7 now down on the ground. And then hooks the leg off that beautiful counter. Count of one though, kick out by Luck7. Friends for a long time, these two now being split apart by the United States Championship. Certainly a battle of respect, but how much further will they go? Rua looking to fly, going for the elbow drop. Dave, Rua hit the elbow drop. That might be enough. Rua to the cover, hooks the leg, one, two. Luck kicks out just in the nick of time. But Rua's gonna go back up to the top rope again. Dave Rua to retain this title. Rua! Elbow drop, nobody home. Lunch seven moved out of the way. Moving out of the way just in the nick of time. What a close matchup. But now Lux7 lifts Dave Rua back up to his feet. Dave Rua blocks the kick, turns him around. Dave Rua drops him down with the atomic drop. The tailbone's got to be hurting after that one. Rua throws him into the corner. All back elbow. Caught him. Lux7 now pulls him back into a neck breaker. Dave caught in the grips of Luck. And Luck's in a lot of trouble. Dave Rua, though, sweeps the legs out from underneath him. Into the corner. Dave, he might be looking for that drop kick. Dave Rua, is he going to throw him down? Yes, he does. Throws him to the ground. Dave Rua, we've seen this before. The missile drop kick. Dave, missile drop kick to the chest. And that's got to set it up. Come on, Dave. Go to the skies. Go to the skies, Dave Rua. Retain your championship. What a battle. What a battle of respect. Rua looking to deliver the Rua elbow. No. Lock seven for the third time in the matchup moves out of the way. And he just slapped him in his face. Slapped him right in his face. Lock seven with a little bit of disrespect had enough of Dave. Up into it. Lucky number seven. No way. That's got to do it. One. Two. Oh my God. Kick out by Rua. Kick out by Rua. And this thing stays on. This match ain't done yet. Dave lifted up, but a clothesline. Another clothesline from Lux7. Back heel kick just split open the head of Dave Rua. All that blood now pouring out of him. Lux7 going else for something else. And there's a knee to the back of the head. Dropping him down. Rua now lifted right back up to his feet. Lux7 seriously going for the end. Off the ropes. Lock goes for a back elbow, countered by Rua. Rua counters with a knee right there. Dave feeling it. He's feeling it, man. He's calling for the crowd to get on their feet. Here he goes, stomp to the back of the head. Back up to his feet, clothesline from Rua. Another clothesline from Dave. Off the ropes, look at the blood. Three clotheslines knocking down Lock 7. Back up again. Rua drops him down with his own version of the Brain Buster. We've seen that move time and time again. But Lux7 counters it. No selling this move. Rua. Jawbreaker to Luck. Jaw just takes him down. And that's going to set it up. Rua one more time. Ascending to the top rope. Dave looking for it. The elbow drop. Oh my god. Four times Luck moved out of the way. Four times. Crash and burn. Rua just crashed and burned. Two. Kick out by Rua. And we are still in this thing. Knee to the middle of the back. 
Lux 7, super kick. German suplex combo. And Luck now is going to ascend to the top rope as well. Luck, what are you thinking, man? Off the super kick German combo. What a splash. What a splash. That's going to set it up. Luck 7 to become the new United States champion. Can he do it? Has him hooked. Rua's up. Rua up against the turnbuckle. No! Rua's head just hit the top turnbuckle. Are you kidding? One. Two, Lux 7 wins off the lucky number 7 and is your new United States Champion. What a match. What a match. Holy crap. Are you kidding? What a showing. Congratulations, Luck. What an unbelievable showing by Lux7 and Dave Rua. The co-main event lives up to the hype. That's the future of the CMU, my friends. Doesn't matter whether you're rooted for Lux7 or, or Dave Rua. That is the future of the CMU. Steve Taylor says Luck was indeed on his side. Congratulations there, Luck. You deserve it, man. And uh, Dave Rue, a hell, a hell of a run as the United States the champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. You ready for the WWE title? Main event time. Welcome back, Brian. All right, get those bets in. Do bet Shane five or bet hand five right here in the live chat. Also make sure you leave a like on this video and let's sing a little sweet knees because it's time for the most cringy song on the internet. And we are gonna have to get this going here twice today because, well, we gotta, right? We gotta sing. So everybody, get ready. If you know the words, sing along at home. Three, two, one, let's go. Sweet knees are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Woo! The most off-key song ever. But now the question is, does Hunter Hand come to the ring without CEO Con? Does he actually take up Shane on that challenge? Does he look to beat the ghost of last year? The thing that haunts his dreams, losing the title before going to Con Mania. Hey Jordan, I'm doing well, my friend. Hopefully you're doing well as well. All good, Brian. Sometimes it happens. But let's see. Does Hunter come with the CEO? Oh, he does not. The CEO is not with Hunter Hand. The CEO not coming out with Hunter. He wants to prove to the world he can get it done on his own. I hope you're ready. Uh, Jason Barker says, uh, CEO Khan has favoritism towards Lux7. You can smell it in the air. Ooh, Barker. Is that... Are you trying to make a little message known for some people? Potentially. Appreciate the five bomb, though, Jason. Thank you so much. And Brian Schaefer, I also appreciate the two bomb right there. Thank you, buddy. CEO 
Hideo Kon has favoritism towards Lux 7, you can smell it in the air. Definitely from your perspective, Ghostface, from your perspective, that's the story that you would like to see. Um, it's it's unfortunately not the story that I I necessarily envision being a WrestleMania story. Doesn't mean that we aren't going to follow up on it at some point, though, right? That's the nice part. We, we do have the ability to follow up on it at some point. But here we go. WWE title is on the line. Get those bets in. Do either bet Shane 5 or bet Hand 5. Introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 249 pounds, Shane. That's awesome, Raul. Making his way to the ring from Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing in at 242 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Hunter! And there's Hunter Hand. Get ready, because this match is about to go down. The WWE title. Who is going to Con Mania as the champion? Can Hunter Hand beat the ghost of last year's Elimination Chamber when Shane the Gamer took the title away from him? when he took that World Heavyweight Championship away from him one year ago. Will Shane do it again on the road to Con Mania, or does Hunter Hand finally vanquish his fears? Here we go. Starting off with a nice suplex by Shane the Gamer, and there's a right hand to the back, but then Hunter Hand's gonna take advantage and drop him down across his knee with, with a little bit of early power in his game. Now Shane the Gamer counters that with a nice little suplex across the back of the head. And now there's a kick by Shane the Gamer. Yeah, I believe every single title here tonight has changed hands. Every single title has changed hands. Hey, Syntax, how you doing, buddy? Oh, Shane the Gamer now with a double leg takedown going right after Hunter Hand and snaps him down into the mat. And there's a stomp right there, but nobody home and Hunter counters that with a clothesline across the face. Kick to the middle of the back as well. Sounds good there, King. <laughs> now Hunter Hand. Back up. Another right hand there from Hand. Three hands, and then there's a punch in the midsection, but Shane the Gamer counters that with a knee to the midsection. Goes for a takedown, but then Hunter Hand clobbers him down with a little clothesline. And here comes the ground and pound game. Rights and lefts from the man with a hand of a thousand sons. The CEO's favorite individual. But there's a sweep of the leg from Shane the Gamer to Hunter Hand. And then Hunter Hand just counters with a nice takedown again. So right now, early on in this matchup, Hand, the WWE Champion, is in firm control of Shane. And going for a Brain Buster already. No! That's one of his best moves. Into the cup. Kick out. Immediately by Shane. Shane kicked out of the Brain Buster. But now Hunter Hand's going for the Claw Slam. The man with a hand of a thousand suns. No way. Hunter. Hunter and boom. Claw slam. Good God. Not like this. One, two. Shane kicks out at two and a half. Oh, that was close. Nice takeaway though by Shane the Gamer as he shoots him right back down into the mat. And a stomp to the arm, man. He's trying to take away that hand of his. You take away the hand, you take away the power game. Shane the Gamer, though. Butterfly. Bomb delivered. That's how he became number one contender. One, two. Oh, reverse by hand. One, two. Kick out by Shane. Big clothesline from Hunter. Puts his hand to the sky, and you can feel that he is super confident with his performance in this matchup so far. Back elbow, though, from Shane the Gamer. Catches Hunter Hand. Shane again, back on the offense, going for another butterfly move. Oh, big counter by Hunter Hand. That was integral to the matchup. 
If Hunter Hand didn't reverse that, I think it might have been game over for Shane. Now Shane is going to go right back into this another time. Brain Buster. Ground and pound game again. And Hunter Hand looks so focused, guys. This is a focused man going into Con Mania. Into the cover. Count of one. Count of two. Kick out by Shane. And Hand is going for it again. He's going for another claw slam. Are you kidding me? Hunter Hand for the second time. Claw slam. Shane has been rocked. Shane has been decimated. To the cover. One, two. Oh my God. Kick out by Shane. Two and nine tenths. That is as close as it gets. Punches to the face. Now on her hand, continues to work, but Shane the Gamer counters that one. Shane backing up. Don't tell me Shane the Gamer. He's calling for it. The bullet kick. Bullet kick time to the face of hand. Connected with the bullet kick. Hunter Hand no sold it though. And now Shane's gonna roll to the outside of the ring as Hunter Hand just completely no sold the bullet kick. Shane is a madman. But Hunter Hand, cross body, nobody home. Shane the Gamer slides back in the ring. Here comes Hunter Hand. Shane the Gamer runs into a back elbow from Hand. Hand with a fist to the face. No, Hunter Hand with the comeback. Ducks underneath. Shane the Gamer. Spine buster. And then into the corner. Hunter Hand right back on the offense. Not letting go of Shane. Free fall bomb. Hand, the punches, the quick strikes, the precision shots, rocks him. Now Hand gets punched away though by Shane the Gamer. Shane with a kick to the midsection, but reversed again by Hand. And Hand's gonna turn him over into the Boston Crab, but linked up across the ropes was Shane the Gamer. Shane's in trouble. Hand looking for the claw slam. Hand looking for the claw slam. Hand, Hunter! No! Hunter Hand with the third claw slam to Shane the Gamer. One, two, Shane kicks out. Shane has kicked out of three claw slams. Shane refusing to go away. Hunter Hand can't put him away. Now wrenching back on the neck, trying to make Shane the Gamer tap out. Hunter Hand has had enough. What a showing though in this matchup by Hand. The WWE Champion fighting his own fight against a mega star in the CMU. Slams his head down again. Shane the Gamer in a lot of trouble though. Hand knee across the face. Shane can barely stand at this point. Shane rolls to the outside of the ring. Back in he goes. Hunter Hand gets caught by Shane though. Sent up, pulls back into a deep arm drag. And Shane the Gamer now having a little bit of a breather raises his hand. Kick to the midsection. Shane the Gamer, what else does he have up in his sleeve? Shane, all oh, reversed by Hunter. Stomp by Hunter Hand. I think that was a last ditch effort by Shane. Hunter Hand, no, not again, Hunter! Brain Buster! Two, Hunter Hand retains his title. Hunter Hand just vanquished the ghost of last year. Oh, oh, Joso! Joso to the ring. Joso attacking Hunter Hand. Joso is here. Joso, the number one contender, attacking him with the WWE Championship in hand. Joso now. Joso! Shot down goes Hand. Joso just made his mark known, and that's going down at Con Mania. Joso versus Hunter Hand. Wow, there we go, guys. That was the CMU Fastlane. I really hope you guys did enjoy the show. Really, really hope you did. It was a took a little bit to put together, but I think it was worth it. Man, oh, man. 
On your way out, everybody, please make sure you do leave a like on this video, also making sure you are subscribed to the channel, and that you also consider turning on your notifications. That way you never miss another video of mine. But everybody, that is going to do it for us here today. Seriously, I hope you enjoyed this show. If you want to continue to talk about it, you can come join our Discord server, which is available down in the description below. That Discord link will take you over to the server. You can chat in the universe part, the universe talk part, and that is where all of the people from this live chat will most likely be after the stream, talking about the show that was. But everybody, that's going to do it for me here today. I'm going to go try to figure out what my living situation is going to be here for the rest of the night. Um, and, uh... Hopefully I'm going to be able to move here within a month, if not sooner. I would love to be able to move out in a week, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for us. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. One more time, leave a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed. But that's it for us. Take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow for, for Friday Night Smackdown and Minecraft Fridays. But until then, take care. I've been Khan, and that was the CMU.